Hello and welcome to Open Source and ZPanel Community. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a copy of eFront version 3.6.13. If you go to eFront website, you can download the latest version and all the modules and languages. Let's start with the actual installation. Once you download the zip file, you want to unzip it or extract the content into a folder. Once you've done that, what you want to do is to upload the content to your web server. In my case, I'm going to use my usual ag2000.tk server. And I'm going to upload to the folder agserver.tk. I'm going to minimize file zero and also the file. Don't forget to uh, read the install readme file if you have any problems. Here you can find all the information you need for the installation. All right, let's open the browser. And here you can see the domain name agserver.tk. I refreshed and let's start with the installation. Uh, just click on new installation, everything looks fine. Accept the file system permission. So I uh, if you go back to the install, it tells you exactly how to change the permission from your server on each uh, folder or file or both logically if it needs to. Press continue and we start to installation with the database information that I'm going to create now. I'm going to press um, create my SQL databases and I'm going to call it eFront and create. Now I'm going to create a database user. I'm going to also call, call it eFront and press create. I'll be using ZPanel uh, control panel for the Apache web server running on it. CentOS. Now going back to the installation, I'm going to enter the details. Database host is localhost. The user name is eFront and that's the password you need. I'm going to copy that. So the user is the front password. Now the database name. But if you don't remember the database name, just go back and you can actually copy and paste. Uh, if you're using uh, Z panel, it's going to be Z admin underscore, and the name you chose in this case will be eFront. I'm going to put down the admin and the password for the administration and email and I'll start the installation. And that's it. 
So congratulations, the installation has been done. Now we're going to log in. And with the actual uh, login that I put earlier on, it's going to be admin and the password. Press and login. And there we go, we are the uh, inside the eFront administration panel where you, you can add more users, lessons, and categories and courses. This is perfect for everyone running courses, training centers. Here you can find more information. You can add students, professors, trainers, lecturers. You can add new users. Administrators, it's quite nice piece of software to run if you have an, as I said, a training system, you know, training center. I hope you enjoyed this installation. Don't forget to follow me on Blogger, Twitter, and of course on YouTube. And don't forget, please, to share and subscribe. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.